Hi all and welcome back to part 12 of my very first Let's Play of Sea of Stars. We are in the port town on Brisk and we will continue exploring this pretty big place. But first, I just want to say that if you are enjoying the channel or this Let's Play series, I would love to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And for those of you who do, thank you very much. And for the rest of you, feel free to tag along anyhow. Enough of the plugging. And as always, I will be reading information and dialogue while gaming, but nothing else. Let's do it. Hey, you're the ones who fixed the flying lift. Thanks, it's nice to be able to visit Brisk for some shopping again. Found one rainbow conch. Merchant. Hi, uh, welcome to my house. I'm sorry, but I am not accepting visitors at this time. Unless you happen to carry a trader's signet. Oh, well, that does change everything now, doesn't it? Welcome to the hidden market. Eye of Yumara. 888G. Displace weaknesses, resistance, and non boss enemy HP in combat. Dubious Dare. Increases damage taken. Tome of Knowledge. Increases XP gained. Double Edge. Increases damage in certain situations. Increases enemy defense bonus while casting. Decreases enemy defense while not casting. Tome of Knowledge. Tome containing techniques to optimize one's learning ability and general growth increases XP gained by 20. Even cleaning clothes is fun when you have a beach. Just making sure the chimney is in good working condition. There won't be much time for maintenance during the high season. Ah, the ocean. Bring your dreams and notion, Quilliam. Uh, I really should ask my landlord to block the entrance at the top. People keep passing through my place. Bye. 
A statue of the sleeper. Kid, see that sleeper statue? My friend says there's an older version of it hidden somewhere, but I don't believe her. I love my job. I'd be hanging out in the sun all day anyway. Risk is such a lively place. I can't help but feel energized. I was good this week, so we're eating my favorite meal tonight. I'm preparing my son's favorite dish today. Whatever is cooking smells great. Found one sapphire ore. Gaspar, welcome to the Golden Pelican. Did you have a reservation for today? My apologies, the Golden Pelican is only for those with a reservation. I must ask you to leave. It will soon be the high season. We're getting ready to double patrol time. Grandpa says we'll eat some ice cream later. I can't wait. There's nothing a lot more than spending time with my grandkid. What a blessing. Found one shiny pearl. Found one power belt. Edward Roulette. Welcome all, welcome to the bonus spin roulette. Pick a number and if it lands on it, you win a special prize. Spin the roulette for 10 G. Okay. Pick a number, 48, 82, 29. 29, you lose, please come back again. Welcome all, welcome all.
So even though it's very much okay to buy these apparently, I don't think I will be having a lot of them uh, enabled because I think it might mess with the balance of the game. I might turn them on if I actually need it, but I probably won't be. The reason I did it with XP is because that, you know, Grinding in JRPGs is a part of the game, but not always the most enjoyable. So this will help shortening down the, you no know, grindy bits, basically. Thanks again for the help. My friend here, who is one of my many connections throughout the world, just told me what happened in the wind tunnels. Scary stuff. This is a wheels table. Anyone with their own wheel and at least two figurines can play. Which I didn't need to hear since I practically invented it. I will let it go, just as long as you do not go on thinking I just learned that. Humble boast, Chef. Just like that, you're a natural. Chef, thanks so much, this will really come in handy. Anytime, reckon I'm the one who should be thanking you for all the tips. Look at him, already making friends. You are. Where to go see the pirates? Thanks for the chat, girl. You're as real as it gets. Innkeeper, welcome to the humble boast. Were you looking to stay the night? No. Come back anytime. I was on a trip to Lucent once and they also had stools to sit on. Nothing better than a cold drink after a hard day of work being busier than everyone, everyone else. I have a very unique situation at work. I wear many hats and everything would stop working well if I ever quit or went on a vacation. I asked for coffee and explained I had to study for an exam when the witch said, oh, so not a small then, a medium. I said I'm studying for finals. He apologized and gave me a large. I'm telling you, I saw it with my own eyes. It was less than a hundred yards in front of my ship. Oh yeah? Well, it was less than ten yards from my ship once. I'm keeping an eye on these pirates. K 
king of them. Well, look who it is. You land. The deal stands. If you can't beat Valtrade at arm wrestling, y'all gonna need to fetch an item for us. After which, Pirate's Honor will take you to Wraith Island. Do you accept these terms? Wait. It's just a little arm wrestling match, eh? Should we make a deal? Your land is ready. The deal stands. We accept. Everybody, arm wrestling battle. Let's go. Beautiful. Well, trade, you're up. You guys are too strong. It wouldn't be fair. I'll do it. Plus, arm wrestling is a, arm wrestling a real pirate? How cool is that? Fine, but go easy on the poor fella. You got it, Belair. I'll be your challenger. Valtrade? Captain? We can't leave without the coin. Go all out. Aye aye, Captain. Right, tough one. You look like. Ready? On three. One. Two. Three. I'm sorry, did I miss the part where we agreed on a no magic shirt rule? Sorry pal, captain's orders. Are you kidding? That was awesome! Uh, this will be my best anecdote for sure. Show me again. Like we didn't ask about any specifics. Should have negotiated when you had the chance, son. This lesson's on the house. Haha. <laughs> well, trade truly is good at everything. You know it, pal. Now, since you lost the arm wrestling challenge, how about we discuss this little errand? Uh. Captain. North of Brisk is the abandoned lab of an arcane wizard who died long ago. It hasn't been open for centuries, but stories say it conceals a coin of undeath cord. Why do you want it? It's a powerful token. Paying an undead creature with it, with it forces them to do one's bidding. I plan on using it to force the ghost captain of the Vespertine to surrender his ship to me. Hassa! How do we get in? We kept people away all this time, but you look like you can handle yourselves, so it shouldn't be a problem. My crew won't fight, but we'll get you inside. A bit of magic should do the trick, Kinathan. I shall open the entrance to the abandoned wizard lab, or my name is not Kinathan. Ahoy, Captain. Ain't you coming with? I will stay here and make preparations for our departure. Fetch the coin of under the cord, then meet me at the docks. Aye, aye, Captain. Yolan, Valtrade, and Kinathan join the cargo. I'll stay here. Got a lot of research notes to sort and organize.
a vest. Let's know before we leave. Y'all noticed the wheels table, right? There in the corner? The watchmaker invented that game. Gotten real popular over the years too. Huh? Look, I'm sorry we had to play that little trick on you. It ain't much, but I thought if maybe you want to get into wheels, you could have this. Got copper wheel. Got warrior figurine. Got mage figurine. You can now play wheels. Tables can be found mostly in taverns. Challenge town champions to earn new figurines and improve your own wheel. Rules can be viewed in the how to play section of the pause menu. Feel free to try it out now, or we can head to that wizard lab right away if you prefer. How to play. Wheels. Wheels is a clockwork battler where each player controls two heroes. Match energy to make your heroes attack and bring the enemy crown's HP to zero. Table and player wheel. The table has a set of four default wheels on either side completed by each player's player wheel. Each side also displays its respective player's HP, crown and heroes figurines. Players get up to three spins per round. Spin with RT. Wheels can be browsed with uh, left and right buttons and locked unlocked with A in between spins. For a hero to act, its action rod must be lowered by matching the associated energy. Square energy is for the left hero, while diamond is for the right hero. Energy is matched in 3 0 fashion. Three equals 1, 4 equals 2, 5 equals 3, 6 equals 4, and so on. Bulwark. The Bulwark protects the crown. It can be raised to resist up to 5 points of damage, and is raised by matching hammers in 3 oak fashion. 3, 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6, 4, and so on. Evolving heroes. Heroes evolve when they have enough HP. Uh, XP. Heroes gain 1 XP for each time with a blue background, matching their energy type 1 equals 1, no 3 oak group, and gain 2 XP whenever they act. Heroes always start off at the bronze tier and can each evolve to silver and gold. Bombs. Filling the XP bar on gold here will spawn a bomb, dealing 2 damage directly to the opponent's crown, disregarding their bulwark. Heroes. Each hero has his own strengths and weaknesses. There's a total of six playable heroes. Warrior, Mage, Archer, Engineer, Assassin, and Priest. Warrior. A steady and moderately fast damage dealer. Since damage doesn't carry over, this one is easily blocked by the Bulwark. Mage. Attacks twice. The first fireball is at the ground level and easily blocked by the Bulwark, while the second fireball flies at a height of six units, guaranteeing a hit on the crown even if the Bulwark is maxed out. Archer. Strong against crown, weak against bulwark. Arrow flies at a height of 3 units hitting the crown when the bulwark is at 2 or less. Engineer. Strong against bulwark, weak against crown. As a bonus, the engineer raises its team bulwark by 2 units whenever it acts. Assassin. Specialist hero. Attacks delay the opponent's hero with the least amount of energy left before acting. Also deals low damage to the crown, directly disregarding bulwark. Priest. Support hero. Heals its team's crown and gives energy to its fellow hero. Champions and progression. The wheel's journey begins with a bronze wheel and only the warrior and mage as playable heroes. Rumors say that those who unlock all six heroes and the platinum wheel may challenge the watchmaker herself. Want to play some wheels? Casual game.
victory! You won! This might just be a good place to end if we have tried one game, we might return in the next part for a champion game and then we'll head out, but we'll do that in the next part. Thank you for following along in my let's play of Sea of Stars. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I would love to hit those like and subscribe buttons and if I saw you again in the next part, but for now it is time to say bye bye.